Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and this is the Xiaomi Mi Box S. Xiaomi was nice enough to send me out to New York City to take a look at some of their products with an event, and this one was pretty impressive. This is a 4K HDR set-top box that runs Android TV, but only comes in at about $40, at least in the United States. It is available around the world, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box and set it up and see how it all works. So here's the box. It says Mi Box S 4K Ultra HD set top box. And then it says free HDMI cable, 3000 plus apps. On this side, it says three step setup, HDMI, attach Mi Box to TV, connect to the internet, and then start streaming. On the back, you'll see it says it's a Dolby Digital DTS 2.0 plus digital out. It's got Chromecast built in, Google Assistant built in, 4K Ultra HD plus HDR, and then it's got a quad core CPU with a 3 plus 2 core GPU. And then it shows what comes in the box on this side. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here is the Mi Box itself. We'll set this aside in just a moment here and take a look at that. And here we have some paperwork, Mi Box, and I think this is just a quick setup. And then we have important product information. Oh, and there's one more here, and it says terms and policies. So let's set that aside. Inside, we've got an HDMI cable. We have our power adapter. And we've got a remote. And a couple batteries in there for the actual remote. Let me set this aside and we'll take a closer look at the box itself. So here is the Mi Box and you can see it's incredibly thin. And then on the back we have our power plug, USB-A, HDMI, and audio out. This is also an optical audio out and nothing around the side. And if we compare that to another popular 4K HDR box, you'll see it's less than half the size. So it's pretty impressive if I put it on top here. You'll see it's even smaller this way as well. So that's pretty impressive how small this is in comparison. So in this little box, we can do 4K HDR. So let's connect it to the television and I'll set it up so we can take a closer look. Once you have your Mi Box set up, you'll have this as your home screen. And what you have here at the top is all of your different apps. From left to right, you can add a favorite. Go back over to your apps. And then if we go down, you'll see there's Play Next, Netflix, HBO Now, Trending, Featured, and Google set all of this up based on when I signed in. I, I actually don't even have ESPN, but it installed it by itself. So it's just something that it sets up for default, and then you can remove these later. Now, if we go back up to the top, we have our apps. Now, you do have an app button on the remote. You can just hit that and get to the same thing. You can get more apps, get more games. So maybe you have a Plex server, something like that. You have the option to install things like Plex or whatever you'd like so that you can stream all of your content. If we go back home with this button, we can use Google Assistant at the top. Now we can use our voice to click to speak or we can use the actual keyboard. I'll use voice and I'll search for one of my YouTube videos. Pixel 3 XL December update. You'll see it finds my video there. We can go through the other ones as well and then we'll just click to play. And you'll see this is my video. It started to play pretty quickly. It hasn't hiccuped and it's in 4K. So that part's really nice. Now the other thing, it has 4K HDR. And if you have an HDR television, this will work great on that. And I've only recorded one HDR video, but let's take a look at it. Apple Watch Review 4K HDR. You'll see it finds my review. We'll click on it to play. And if you have an HDR television, you'll be able to see it in HDR. If not, it'll still look pretty good, but it won't be as vibrant or the darks won't be as, as dark. So it looks pretty good overall. We go back home, you'll see it's nice and fast. Now this is an Android TV, but it also has Chromecast built in. So if we set the remote down, we'll go over to my Pixel 3 XL and we can go to YouTube and I'm already on my channel. We've got the Chromecast button here. We'll cast to Mi Box 4. That's this one, it's already connected. And then we can just play the latest video. And it will play on the Mi Box. So you can use it as a Chromecast if you don't have one of those as well. So it's really nice and it plays pretty quickly. And of course you've got all of your controls on screen if you wanna just jump around the video. And you'll see it takes a moment to resume and it works pretty well. So we'll stop that, stop casting, 
And then back on the remote, we have volume controls. And then we also have a live button if you have live TV set up, a Netflix button, and your microphone and a power off button. So it's pretty simple and straightforward, and it's really fast for just this tiny little box, but it has 4K HDR, and that's probably the best thing about it. And also, if you have Google Play movies and things like that, you'll be able to play those as well, and music and everything else. So that's it for the Xiaomi Mi Box S. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I think it's pretty impressive for the price, and it's pretty incredible how thin it is as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.